that gross you out. are as terrible as that one. Let's explore why we humans detest it so. Nails dragging across a chalkboard can make your spine tingle and your hair stand on end, and much of that has to do with both the frequency range of the sound and the shape of the ear canal. The human ear canal amplifies frequencies in the 2000 to 4000 hertz range, and the acoustic structure of that scraping noise on a chalkboard just happens to be concentrated within that range, ricocheting around your ear canal like a pinball. Sukhbinder Kumar, a neuroscientist at Newcastle University Medical School in the UK, and his colleagues wanted to find out what the emotional landscape of the grating noise looked like in the brain. So they recruited 13 healthy volunteers who underwent functional magnetic resonance imaging while listening to 74 sounds, including the old nail scraping one, rating them on a scale of one, least unpleasant, to five, most unpleasant. Researchers witnessed how the auditory part of the brain, which perceives sound, interacts with the amygdala, which processes emotion. And they found that the more unpleasant the sound, the more the amygdala engages and causes the auditory complex to heighten its response. And when that happens, we become more physiologically alert. Hence the spine tingles and the slapping of hands over the ears as we recoil from the commotion. Besides the sound being amplified in the ear canal, why else would we humans be so bothered? Some have theorized that because the chalkboard scratching shares the same mid-range frequencies of primate warning calls, our response is a kind of evolutionary hangover. That we can't help but overreact since on some level we're misattributing it to some sort of predator about to pounce on us us or our younglings. But this has since been disproved. The answer may be that all that gritting of teeth could be, in part, psychological. Musicologists Michael Oler and Christoph Ruter asked volunteers to listen to various sound samples, including the rubbing of styrofoam, plate scraping, and nails on a chalkboard. Half were told exactly what was producing the sound, while the other half were told that the sounds were part of a contemporary musical piece. The volunteers rated the clips from best to worst, and all the while indicators of stress were monitored like heart rate, blood pressure, and electrical conductivity of skin, aka the stress sweats. All the participants who heard the unpleasant frequencies had a physiological response, elevated heart rate and increased perspiration. But those who weren't told the source of the sounds reported being less disturbed by it, leading the researchers to wonder if priming plays a part in increasing our reaction. And it turns out there are far more offensive noises than just dragging your nails on a chalkboard. In a 2008 Newcastle University study, 50 participants listening to 75 sounds rated nails on a chalkboard the fifth most irritating sound, behind a knife scraping against a metal bottle, fork times running across a glass, and actual chalk on a chalkboard. Thankfully, most schools don't even use chalkboards anymore, but does that mean the new despised sound is going to be markers on a whiteboard? <laughs> Let us know what sound drives you crazy. For me personally, it's the balloons, that that noise. Ah, let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.